What's up everyone? Welcome to Crypto Maximalist. Today we're taking a look at Ethereum and its recent price action and make sure to watch the video till the end for a price prediction for the short and the long term as well. First things first, please smash the like, subscribe and hit the bell icon. YouTube is not pushing crypto content out currently and our subscribers aren't getting notifications. So make sure to join our free Telegram to stay up to date with all of our videos as they are posted. Links in the description. It really helps if you hit the like. We're posting four videos per day, so come back every day for daily updates and analysis. And make sure to comment down below for your chance to win a hardware wallet in our new monthly giveaway. We'd also like to thank you all so, so much for your support. We've just hit 10k subscribers, so make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. This is not financial advice. Welcome to Crypto Maximalist. Let's begin. What's up guys, so just before we begin, we've had many reports that our subscribers aren't seeing our content, and this is most likely because you haven't hit the real subscribe button, which is the bell icon with all notifications turned on. Give it a tap now, turn on all notifications, and you'll most likely see most of our videos being posted. Also, if you want to support the channel, make sure to tap that like, it really, really helps us out. We're posting four videos per day, so make sure to check back every single day for daily updates. So we're just taking a look at ETH here, you can see daily time frame, massive uptrend, as we always say, things looking up very, very nicely. We can see, obviously, uh, it looks as though we have potentially come up here and touched the top of our range that we have formed. As we said, there did seem to be a range looking at down here where we came back up, we formed the range down here, something like this. Obviously, when we had the May crash, you can see we come down all the way, formed the bottom-ish of the range here, come back up, failed to break this level here at around three, the $2,900, rolled over again, and obviously, we've had that W double bottom since then breaking out of that descending wedge, something like this. Obviously breaking out, back testing support, back testing support again. And obviously since then we've had a massive run to the upside, haven't we? And as we said, you know, things that were getting really overextended there, weren't we? We've got bearish divergences. You know, even though it does look as though the momentum is increasing on the histogram, it does seem as though ETH is starting to run out of steam and basically start to consolidate, which is really what we want to be seeing. Because obviously if we do just continue to run up like this, eventually we're just going to crash down massively because we haven't formed any support. But it does look as though we are consolidating nicely here, potentially underneath this resistance of the actual higher, higher, larger range, something like this. If you think we formed the, uh, we basically came down, what was it? We came down on the 19th of May here. So you could say we formed our range high, something like this, you could say at that point. Obviously we had our smaller range, which is something like this, which we've broken out of now and back tested as support, which is good to see. But you can see, you know, we've actually come up basically and we're, we're fighting against this higher term, higher, larger range, aren't we? That we formed here currently at around $3,300. Is this $3,300-ish dollars? At around $3,300 there. And, you know, we've been re getting rejected off of it, haven't we? And we're forming some kind of potentially uh, some kind of like rising channel like this, aren't we? Which could have a breakdown target technically. But, you know. Considering things are getting quite overbought right now, that might not be such a bad thing. A bit of a correction, come back down and test some lows, consolidate like this under resistance before breaking, back testing and moving on, which would be, you know, the ideal scenario, wouldn't it? But we just do need to be aware of, obviously, we've come up really fast here and not really made that much support. So just do be aware that potentially we could be looking at a bit of a retracement and a pullback if that's the case. Basically going into, you know, the next few weeks, if we do start to see uh, Ethereum roll over, do anticipate, you know, this $2,900 level. Previous range uh, resistance high flipped into support would be really bullish to see. Doing something like this where we're basically retesting the previous uh, resistance of support before coming up and breaking the next resistance. Back testing and, you know, running away with things basically because you can see what's happened, haven't you? We've got a high, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, and then we've actually made this you know, this low, which is the same, and now we've made a higher high, but we really want to see that higher low, don't we, for that trend reversal? Because there's always the possibility you come up, you make your high high, but then you make you come down, you make your lower low, and you just keep going down. Obviously, we're not saying that this is going to happen, but it's always a possibility until you come back down and really make that higher low and get that bounce again. So just something to be aware of there. So just taking a look at our hourly time frame here, you can see we're really chopping it up, aren't we? Really chopping it up underneath this, in this resistance area. We really want to be, you know, breaking out of it by the looks of it. We keep coming up and retesting this area, coming down and coming up and retesting again and again. We're actually making higher lows the whole time. So it does look as though this price action really wants to break to the upside, potentially forming, you know, some kind of ascending triangle like this. And obviously, if that was the case, 
we'd be looking at a nice little uh, a nice little technical target here if we just draw this in. Coming up for Ethereum, coming up to around that three thousand seven hundred dollar level if that was a technical uh, an ascending triangle there with a technical target, and that would actually coincide really nicely, wouldn't it? If we look at our daily time frame, that three thousand seven hundred dollar level would coincide nicely with this uh, decent area of resistance here, which does seem to be a decent amount of uh, previous resistance. Obviously flipped into support and then back into resistance again before we had the big crash. So, you know, things looking really good for Ethereum. We are exercising caution and telling everyone to be careful. Obviously not financial advice, of course, but you can obviously quite clearly see that we're starting to lose some momentum here for this crazy up multiple move we've had. And, you know, we could potentially start to roll over if Bitcoin did start to roll over as well. So just something to be aware of. Obviously, if we do break out of this, uh, this resistance here wholesale, we would be looking at potentially that $3,700 level as our price target. So, And then that would be our short-term price prediction. Obviously, in the long term, we do think Ethereum is going to do very, very well. We think going into you know the re remainder of the bull run, if it's going to go into December, January time, like a lot of people do predict, we could be looking at potentially 15 or 20K for Ethereum if we hit the top of our channel here, going into our FIB extensions. So that's our update today, guys. We'd like to thank everyone for watching. If you have any comments, questions or suggestions, please let us know down in the comments section below. Please make sure to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can keep up to date with all of our videos. Remember to comment down below and be subscribed to enter into our brand new monthly giveaway for a hardware wallet. If you'd like to support the channel more directly, please sign up to our Patreon via the link in the description below or sign up to YouTube membership by hitting the join button right next to the sub below this video where you can get access to our private discord. We're offering coin calls, one-to-one -one access to us personally, insight into our personal portfolio, daily research of crypto assets with massive potential and access to our brand new 100x portfolio with so many benefits you might as well check it out below. Don't forget to get two free stocks with Weeble by signing up and then depositing $100 using our link in the description below. You can quite literally deposit the $100, get your two free stocks and then withdraw the money. So there's no reason not to do that and they could be valued all the way up to $1600 each but don't forget to actually deposit as well after signing up otherwise you won't receive the second stock. Scammers get worse every day, so make sure to protect yourself and your crypto online with pure VPN. Sign up below for some big discounts. You can get access to block content and protect yourself from phishing scams with super low monthly payments and high quality speeds. You can also sign up to our free Telegram via the description as well. All the links are in the description for affiliate links for discounts and free crypto. So go check them all out below. There's plenty of goodness on offer. Please like and subscribe. We are Crypto Maximalists.